The electric power system is a multifaceted entity. To ensure its secure and reliable operation, system operators require a range of system services. These services, also referred to as ancillary services, can be provided by generators, flexible loads, various types of grid-connected devices including power electronics solutions, and providers of distributed energy resources. Some of these services are mandated in grid codes, while others are procured as needed by transmission system operators and distribution, distribution system operators. The aim is to maintain a precise balance between supply and demand in real time, stabilize the system, keep all parameters of the electric power system, including frequency and voltage, within operational limits, and restore the system in the event of disturbances or failures. The grid code for power ancillary services is crucial for several reasons, system reliability, the grid code ensures that all participants in the power system operate under a common set of technical standards and procedures. This uniformity helps maintain the reliability and stability of the power system. Integration of renewable energy, with the increasing integration of renewable energy sources, which can be intermittent and unpredictable, the grid code helps manage the variability and maintain grid stability. Efficient use of resources, by defining the parameters for ancillary services, the grid code ensures that these services are used efficiently and effectively, contributing to the overall efficiency of the power system. System recovery, in the event of a system disturbance or blackout, the grid code provides the framework for system recovery and restoration. Market operations, for power systems with market operations, the grid code defines the rules for participation in the ancillary services market, ensuring fair competition and market efficiency. Grid code for power ancillary services is a key tool for maintaining a safe, reliable, and efficient power system. It provides a common framework for all participants, participants, ensuring that everyone plays by the same rules, and it adapts to changing conditions such as the increasing integration of renewable energy sources. Without the grid code, coordinating the many different elements of a power system would be much more difficult and the system as a whole would be less reliable and efficient. Ancillary services are essentially functions that aid grid operators in ensuring the reliability of the electricity system. They are responsible for maintaining the correct flow and direction of electricity, rectifying imbalances between supply and demand, and aiding in system recovery following a power system event. In systems with a high penetration of variable renewable energy RE, there may be a need for additional ancillary services to manage the increased variability and uncertainty. The types of ancillary services can include synchronized regulation, this service addresses short-term changes in electrical imbalances that could potentially destabilize the power system. Contingency reserves, these are utilized to react to an unforeseen failure or outage of a system component, such as a generator, transmission line, circuit breaker, switch, or other electrical element. Black start regulation, this service provides electricity for system restoration in the rare event that the entire grid experiences a power outage. Flexibility reserves, this is a relatively new concept designed to handle variability and uncertainty over longer timescales than contingency and regulating reserves. Need for ancillary services, contemporary electric power systems consist of various types of power plants and energy storage systems that manage electricity and distribute it via an electrical grid be it a transmission grid, di distribution grid, mini grid, or microgrid to meet the power demand of end users. Grid operators are tasked with delivering electricity to these end users the moment it is needed, without interruption, in an efficient, cost-effective, and reliable manner. Ancillary services, though defined in various ways, are often seen as the services and functions essential for the secure and reliable operation of the electric power system. These services have diverse technical requirements and are governed by different regulatory frameworks worldwide, largely influenced by the unique deregulation processes that have occurred in various countries. Ancillary services are a crucial component of grid operations and were traditionally provided by integrated electric utilities as part of their regular operations. In the past, these services didn't need to be explicitly defined and monetized. However, the deregulation of electric power systems led to changes in many aspects of ancillary services, such as their definition, procurement, activation, and remuneration. In another sense, ancillary services can be defined as the services necessary to facilitate the transfer of electric power from the seller to the buyer. These are the services required to maintain the reliable operation of the interconnected electrical grid, 
ensure the stable operation of the electric power system or recover system security, guarantee power supply, and meet several technical requirements in real time, including voltage and frequency limits. Ancillary services and grid codes, as the electricity generation capacity continues to increase globally, including a higher share of renewable generation, and more nonlinear and other challenging loads are connected to the electrical grids, stricter requirements regarding grid connection, operation, and balancing of generation renewable or non-renewable and consumption loads are introduced by TSOs and DSOs to ensure that electric power systems remain reliable and robust. Ancillary services, technical requirements for ancillary services are determined by the need of system operators to maintain the reliability, security and quality of the electric power supply. System operators manage the electric power system by obtaining contributions ancillary services as needed from service producers in carrying out the technical management of the system, while making sure there is a suitable level of security, adding their own share implementation of controls, load dispatching function, etc., and thus elaborating the final system services. Controlling frequency and voltage has always been one of the main technical requirements for ancillary services and a critical task in operating an electric power system. Following the liberalization in many countries of the electricity sector, system operators were able to obtain these support services from other participants in the electricity market. Since the liberalization process has progressed independently in different regions and each electric power system has its own specific characteristics, technical definitions for ancillary services can vary considerably. Ancillary services are defined differently depending on the electric power system and on the regulatory framework in which they are implemented. The regulatory environment plays a significant role in determining how different systems acquire ancillary services. For instance, vertically integrated utilities employ administrative tools like contracts, requests for proposals, and internal acquisitions to secure the necessary ancillary services for balancing supply and demand, and ensuring grid reliability. On the other hand, in partially or fully restructured power systems, electricity generators with the technical ability to provide ancillary services can participate in competitive markets for these services. In certain scenarios, ancillary services such as frequency and inertial response can be guaranteed through interconnection requirements instead of contractual or market mechanisms. Regardless of the structure of the power system, Variable RE introduces three main considerations for the procurement of ancillary services, the unpredictability and uncertainty of wind and solar energy increase the need for various ancillary services, which impacts the scheduling and pricing of these services. The impact of Variable RE varies based on system conditions, making it challenging to generalize the demand for ancillary services across different timescales and systems. Permitting variable RE to contribute to ancillary services can increase the power system's supply, but it may also present challenges due to the unique characteristics of the variable resor resources involved. There's a growing interest in the provision of ancillary services by new players in the grid business, such as owners of distributed generation, energy storage systems, and smart loads, either individually or as part of virtual power plants VPPs. The primary focus is on participating in various markets based on active power, with a particular emphasis on energy markets. The creation of VPPs, through the use of aggregators, for instance, is a practical approach to leveraging the capabilities of small generators and consumers. Challenges of modern electric power systems, contemporary electric power systems encounter numerous challenges concerning the reliability, security, and quality of the electric power supply. Ancillary services are necessary to address these challenges and enhance the operation of the electric power system. Key technical challenges are associated with system stability, including frequency, voltage, and rotor angle stability. The stability of an electric power system refers to the system's capability, given an initial operating condition, to restore a state of operating equilibrium after experiencing a physical disturbance, disturbance, with most system variables constrained such that the system remains largely intact. System disturbances can take various forms, such as sudden load changes, abrupt short circuits between line and ground, line-to-line -line faults, all three-line faults, switching, and so on. Modern electric power systems and technical challenges Modern electric power systems face many challenges regarding the reliability, security and quality of the electric power supply. To overcome all these challenges and improve the operation of the electric power system ancillary services are required. 
Some of the main technical challenges are related to system stability including frequency, voltage, and rotor angle stability. Electric power system stability is the ability of a power system, for a given initial operating condition, to regain a state of operating equilibrium after being subjected to a physical disturbance, with most system variables bounded so that practically the entire system remains intact. Disturbances of the system may be of various types like sudden changes of load, the sudden short circuit between line and ground, line to line faults, all three line faults, switching, etc. Types of ancillary services. Ancillary services can be categorized into three main groups, services related to frequency support, voltage support, and system restoration support. Frequency support services are needed for the short-term balance of energy and frequency in the electric power system. These include frequency regulation and operational reserves, typically provided by generators, flexible loads, and energy storage systems. Frequency support services are re required for the short-term balance of energy and frequency of the electric power system, and they include frequency regulation and operational reserves. These services are usually provided by generators, flexible loads, and energy storage systems. Voltage support services are necessary to maintain the voltage of the electric power system within prescribed limits during normal operation and disturbances. This is achieved by balancing the generation and consumption of reactive power. The primary objectives of these services are voltage profile management and voltage stability maintenance. System restoration support services are required to restore the electric power system to normal operation following a blackout. These include black start and islanding operation. Voltage support services are required for maintaining the electric power system voltage within the prescribed limits during normal operation and during disturbances by keeping the balance of generation and consumption of reactive power. The main targets of these services are voltage profile management and maintaining voltage stability. System restoration support services are required to return the electric power system to normal operation after a blackout. They include black start and islanding operation. There are also other ancillary services closely related to system operability and stability, such as power oscillation damping, subsynchronous resonance damping, congestion management, and grid loss compensation. These services contribute to maintaining the system's reliability and safe operation within predefined limits. There are also some other ancillary services closely related to system operability and stability like, like power oscillation damping, subsynchronous resonance damping, congestion management and grid loss compensation that help to maintain the reliability of the system and its operation within predefined limits safely. Ancillary services markets A significant aspect of a system operator's role is to ensure the stability of the electric power system and to continuously balance supply and demand, making adjustments as demand fluctuates. This is accomplished by utilizing various ancillary services as needed, which are supplied by large-scale generation units either conventional or renewable, energy storage systems, certain grid-connected devices like mechanically switched or power electronics switched compensation devices, and providers of distributed energy resources DERS including demand response, small-scale energy storage systems, and distributed variable renewable energy VRE generation. Ancillary services, while necessary, are typically not available at all times and are only called upon when required. Some services are used during normal operation continuous, while others are provided for abnormal or emergency situations event-driven. Procurement of ancillary services, the operational oversight of the electric power system falls under the purview of the respective system operators. Various transmission system operators TSOs and distribution system operators DSOs have instituted a range of processes and products for delivering ancillary services. These products can be sourced from the system operator's operational resources or from diverse market participants such as generators, energy storage systems, loads, demand aggregators, and so on. The procurement plans of TSOs and DSOs outline the mechanism mechanisms for procuring ancillary services, as well as the technical requirements and key contractual terms applicable to each service. Before entering into contracts, new providers are required to demonstrate their equipment's capability to provide the ancillary service through testing. Some services also necessitate regular testing during the contract term. Traditional power systems are composed of largely conventional generators. 
These are synchronous generators, large, centralized dispatchable assets, contributing to systems inertia and feeding large amounts of power into the transmission grid, from where power is transported to load centers. Electricity systems are changing, however, and the optimal generation mix in a power system now comprises diverse generation assets that can be distributed, located closer to consumers and decentralized in operation. Renewable generation technologies, most of which can only generate when the primary resource is available, are sustainable and cost-effective. Solar PV and wind power generators, which are VRE sources, are now mature technologies that are expected to grow exponentially in installed capacity in the future. The real-time monitoring control and operation of the power system lie with the system operator. Coordination between different actors and different assets is only possible if credible regulations or principles governing their conduct, such as grid codes, are in place. Grid codes define the technical regulations and behavior for all active participants in the power system, including power generators, adjustable loads, storage, and other assets. The implementation of these codes gives system operators confidence that assets connected to the system will not endanger the security of the electricity supply. Establishing a grid code is an important step in opening up the power sector to private developers or new plant operators and enabling efficient integration of distributed VRE generators. The purpose of grid codes is manifold and includes ensuring coordination among the various actors, increased transparency, grid security, reliability, and VRE integration. Grid codes enumerate the technical requirements that are to be followed to keep the system functioning smoothly and to build trust between power system actors. They encompass different aspects of the power system, such as markets, operation, planning, and connection.